Hi, I'm Jim Murray, chef owner of the Nimrod Restaurant and Jazz Lounge. We're in Falmouth and we're going to prepare lemon butter, the first step for a Cape Cod classic dish baked scrod. Now I have here two tablespoons of, of butter which I've melted and a couple tablespoons of pre-minced shallots. I'm going to add them to my butter. I'm going to turn it up, give it just a little bit of heat. A tablespoon or so of uh, chopped parsley. Then the most important ingredient, the lemon juice, which comes in these convenient little yellow football shaped containers. I'm going to squeeze the lemon juice. I'm going to try not to get any seeds in there. Bring them out, hold, catch them. Just a tiny bit of salt and pepper. I'm going to stir this around. And that's it, we're done. Now you can keep this in your refrigerator or freezer for months, make as much of it as, or as little as you want. And the next step is to assemble this uh, dish and bake it. First let me tell you about scrod. Scrod is actually a market cut. It's a size of fish. If you look at the uh, daily report, you'll see that uh, cod and haddock and other fish are sold by scrod, market, whale, and or jumbo. Scrod typically has been baby cod or baby haddock, almost always skinned. This is skinned haddock. You want to look for a nice, fresh filet and you can tell that by two ways. It'll have no odor whatsoever. <clears throat> It'll be moist and almost clear. It won't be white. I'm going to make the breadcrumb topping for the scrod. I have some drawn butter, melted butter. If you'd like, you could use your lemon butter that you made and some paprika. I'm looking for a color more than I'm looking for a uh, specific amount of paprika. Paprikas are all different and they, va they vary. So I'm, I'm mixing this up with a little bit with the paprika and I lucked into the color I'm looking for right off the bat here. I'm putting in such a little amount of time that I'm just about wasting my time doing it. And the same with the salt and pepper. A little behind the back for good luck. Okay. <clears throat> now, I'm going to assemble this dish and we're going to put it in the oven. I've got a sizzle platter. You can use any oven proof dish that you have. You size it appro appropriately to the, what, to the amount of entrees you're preparing for yourself or your family. I'm putting just a little bit of my lemon butter with these nice shallots right on top. And I'm going to cover it nicely but not, over, not overly, overly padded with the crumbs that we've just made. <clears throat> just to make it brown up and crisp just right, I'm going to add a little bit more of our lemon butter. Then I'm going to add some white wine. This is going to be about an ounce and a half or so of white wine for this particular dish. You can use water. <clears throat> you can use water and a little lemon juice. Whatever you have. This not only is going to flavor it, it's going to keep the scrod from sticking to the pan for me. When this liquid is done, if I've got the right amount of liquid in here, my scrod's going to be done too. I'm going to put this in a hot oven now. Over 350 and under 475. I happen to use a 425 degree convection oven. This piece is going to take 10 minutes, possibly 11 or 12. Okay, so our scrod's out of the oven, and we're ready to plate it. And at home, I serve this with a nice basmati rice 
and whatever seasonal fresh vegetable happens to be available or coming out of our garden. You're going to take your scrod and very carefully slide it right onto your plate. Okay. If you happen to be fortunate like myself and have an extensive organic herb garden, you might want to garnish it with a couple herbs. We like to wrap our lemons, keeps the seeds all neat and tidy. You don't have to do that. A lemon wedge on the side will do just fine. <clears throat> and you have your nice spot for your nice fresh vegetables and your starch. You're ready for dinner. <laughs>